I'm often asked why, as chair of a department of neuroscience, I get so excited teaching renal physiology and talking about the kidneys. I must admit that I can find it uh, rather frustrating to talk about the brain because there's so much that's fundamental to how it works that we just don't yet understand. In contrast, I can provide a rather satisfying description of how the kidneys work, going from a level that's readily apparent to all of us, the kidneys filter blood to produce urine, to a much more cellular and molecular level. While transport properties of molecules, for example sodium, across nerve cell membranes is essential for the functioning of the nervous system, it's difficult to go from that level to understanding cognitive processes. In contrast, I can make it readily understandable how the transport of sodium across kidney cells uh, determines what blood sodium levels are and how that contributes to the regulation of blood pressure and blood volume. Let me be clear though. Reflex responses mediated by the central nervous system are well understood. Uh, consider, for example, the reflex response of removing your hand from a hot stove. We can describe how that occurs. Furthermore, neuroscience research, including that done at Pitt, con continually provides new insight to the functioning of the nervous system. However, if we consider thought as the output of the brain, I can't even begin to think as to how to describe how that occurs. In contrast, if urine of a specific chemical composition is the output of the kidney, I can describe how that occurs in fairly great detail. And I guess it's these mysteries of the brain that drive my passion as a neuroscientist. Amazingly, these mysterious processes going on inside my brain allow me to think that I know and can explain how the kidney works.